Hi, I'm Elry with JTech, and today we're going to be demonstrating how to do a voltage drop test on battery cables. Um, the reason we do this is to test the cables for excessive resistance or a bad connection. So the first thing we're going to do is take out the EFI fuse from out of the fuse box so that the um, car won't crank all the way over and we won't get oil or fuel into the spark plugs or anything like that. Okay, next, to begin our test, we're going to grab the digital volt ohm meter, cut it on to voltage, and then we're going to begin our test. Now, what we're we're looking for less than 500 millivolts in um, each component that we're going to be testing. If we get anything more than that, then we know that it's a bad ground somewhere. All right, so our first test is going to be from the positive terminal to the, um, to the starter. All right, crank it. Okay, I read about 105 millivolts. So our next test is gonna be from the positive um, battery terminal to the alternator. Go ahead. All right, so our top reading was 137 millivolts. Next test is gonna be from the negative cable to the starter case. Go ahead. So our highest reading was 269 millivolts. And then our final test is gonna be from the negative terminal to the to a um to a to a ground on the uh, chassis. So I'm gonna probably do it from this uh, piece of this bolt here. Go ahead. Alright, we read at 115. So, All right, so after our test, we can, we can conclude that we have good battery cables and we have a good ground connection at the cables. So there's no needed action 